Yo, what's good guys? Today's video is how I scan 35mm film on Silverfast with film borders. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions on this on Instagram, and I think I got a few on here on YouTube, and this video is dedicated to you guys. And this might be my last tutorial vid on this channel because I'm not that type of dude, so yeah, I'm gonna help you guys. Uh, scan your photo with a properly exposed image with the film borders. Now, when people reach out to me on Instagram, they'll say, Hey man, I'm getting this blue cast. It's not working for me. It's not properly exposing my image with film borders. And it's not doing the same thing that you did in your other video. So, basically, 35mm works different than medium format and what you want to do is actually get this whole negative or one frame with the blue cast and that's what you want to do so you're not doing anything wrong you just have to bring it over to photoshop or even lightroom to color correct it and properly expose it so what i'll be doing here is scanning this photo saving it onto my computer and bringing it to Photoshop. Now that you made it far into this video, you want to take this file into Photoshop. Either TIFF or JPEG is fine. And you might be saying, what am I supposed to do now, man? Show me the way. So what you'll have to do, you'll have to open up the levels tool and increase it to expose the image, the whole negative, and it will work better if all the frames were shot in the same lighting condition, um, but it still works for pretty much everything, and yeah, pretty much you're done. So after you get your photos properly exposed, maybe you want to color grade it. Sometimes the colors are not that great, so what you want to do is bring in the color balance tool and pretty much color correct your photo to your liking and pretty much here I'm just playing around with the color balance tool on Photoshop and just you know just for the sake of this video I'm just adjusting the colors to my liking and if I'm fine with that then I got my complete photo set from this whole negative before I leave, I just want to say that there will always be a Kevin McDinkle doo who will come in here and say that I'm not doing things right. There's always going to be this gatekeeper. There's always going to be this dude who's been doing it for years and saying that you're doing it wrong. I think what I've done here will help out a lot of people. Um, you know, it might not be the best, but... I think it helps people get started in getting their photos properly exposed and getting them what they want, which is pretty much what this video is all about, the film borders. And at the end, you know, they can color grade their photo any way they want to and whatever that works for them and that makes them happy, you know. And again, this might be my last video on any type of tutorial on this channel and I just hope it helps anyone out. It just worked for me and I hope it does for you. Now, if you want to communicate with me and the people who are subscribed to this channel, feel free to join my Discord server. I have plenty of channels here where you can share your work or discuss anything about photography. And yeah, pretty much we have a whole bunch of people here. I'm hoping to grow it more throughout the whole year and next year and i hope to see you guys there all right guys thanks for watching this video bye yo i'm eating some gummy worms then this food you about to get burned for talking all that trash on how I edit photos. Man, you better sit back down, you freaking clown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Talking all that trash, make dinkle do. I got you, McPoopoo, McDoodoo. Don't forget, I got you.